Hi, Lee Veris here, kicking it old school with Photoshop tips and techniques for teachers and students. Today I'm going to look at the newest implementation of AI, that's artificial intelligence in Photoshop. Now, uh, many people are making a big deal out of this as a harbinger of things to come with Photoshop and saying things like it leads to push button image editing, etc., etc. But just how intelligent is this new select subject feature in the select and mask dialog in Photoshop? Well, let's find out. So the new select subject button in the select and mask dialog deals with the age old problem of masking a subject so you can place it in a new background. If it really worked, it would be the holy grail for photo illustrators seeking to create realistic image composites. So how well does it work? When does it fail? And most importantly, does it really save any time? So let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Okay, so um, I've assembled a, a bunch of different um, subjects here and uh, here, we'll start off with this one because this is exactly the type of subject I'd really like uh, some help with. Uh, it's not an easy subject to um, mask out, but it's fairly obvious. So this is an area where I think uh, I think the artificial intelligence should work and it should work well. So let's let's find out. So all I have to do is have a, a, a selection tool selected in the toolbar, and I get the now the famous select and mask button here. So when I, when I click on that, I go into this sort of mask land, you know, the interface changes, and then we have this new button here that just says select subject. So let's try it out. Let's just click on it and see what happens. So now Photoshop calculates and is using artificial intelligence to determine what the subject is. And sure enough, it's found the subject um, and you know, for kind of an automatic selection, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, I can, we can, you know, we can fix this a little bit by putting a little edge detection into it. And uh, then probably, you know, I'm going to have to add these, these little things on the, the hat here. Uh, at any rate, I can, I can go along and, 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 and really kind of work on uh, refining the edge, um, you know, removing pieces of it, um, adding back things that should be part of the uh, subject, you know, this kind of stuff. And, and you know, I can get in there and, and actually uh, trim things out the way I like, um, erase things that I don't like. Uh, but this really does give me a leg up on making the selection. So, all right, I'm, on, I'm very happy with it. Um, all right, so this one, it kind of performed the way I expected it to, um, and uh, definitely, definitely interested in this. Let's check out some more, um, some more subjects here. So I'm going to cancel that and move on to the next one. Uh, well, actually, let's let's go to um, let's go to this one. So here's another one where, you know, I think I want to isolate. Um, this uh, glass blower here and and possibly minimize some other things in the background maybe blur it some more so i do need to have a selection of him so let's try it out we'll click on the selected mask click on select subject here and wait for it to calculate and okay not not bad i mean it actually captured the little highlight here mask that pretty nicely uh, yeah, there's things, you know, couldn't really tell, I guess, that this was not part of the subject. It's included things that I need to subtract, uh, you know, not not terribly hard. Uh, I can, you know, just kind of paint these things out and then refine the edge and all that kind of stuff. So, um, but it's, it's definitely given me a leg up here. I think perhaps if I had a this was an infrared shot. If I had a, a full color subject, it might do a little bit better job at finding the edges. Uh, but still, okay, you know, that's pretty reasonable. I could see myself using this, uh, um, helping out there. Let's see what we got here. Now, here's, a, here's an interesting one because this one 
has got kind of a blurry edge and you know I'm kind of interested to see what Photoshop does here because this uh, I can see where the subject is but the edge is really blurry and it's about as blurry as the background here because the only sharp part is where she was lit by the flash here so let's just see we'll do the select and mask again uh, select subject and let's see what Photoshop does here again not bad um, I mean, we, we still have to, you know, do some edge detection. I think I'm just going to up the radius here, and, and that's going to kind of give me that soft edge, the out-of-focus edge. So I'm actually doing pretty good here. Again, I'm going to have to go in and clean up these things. But, um, you know, for me to have done that manually, it saves a little bit of time here. Definitely worth doing. All right, so let's take a look at uh, the next one here. All right, so this is a this is another one where I, I'm kind of interested in this because I want to see if if Photoshop kind of prioritizes the human as the subject, but I really want to mask out the car as well. So let's see what Photoshop does here. So click on the select and mask, select subject. It's a shot I did in Cuba, on uh, one of the photo tours that we had there, and. Uh, interesting it it's found this the human <laughs> obviously there's a there's a subject here there's a little bit of mistakes in here uh, little pieces of the background showing up it's gotten part of the car not the whole car it's odd that it it's getting the inside of the trunk so this is an area where it, it's kind of somewhat failing but I can you know I can add back things in the uh, in the subject as I see fit here just by you know using the uh, the quick select tool um, and we can maybe you know subtract things so again it's sort of giving me a, a leg up on this it's not perfect um, but um, pretty reasonable job and, and it, you know it gets me started anyway so okay so far you know Photoshop hasn't really failed yet let's just see uh, okay, let's 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 check out this one because here's one where I definitely would want to select the subject, you know, the musicians, and you know, possibly fade back or blur the background a little bit more to put a little more emphasis on them. So, let's see. We're going to select the subject. Now it's got multiple subjects here. Let's just see what what Photoshop decides to do. Okay, <laughs> um, it oddly has not selected this guitar. Uh, and it's not, doesn't understand the cowboy hat. So, um, but again, you know, I mean, I can just kind of add back the things that, that it's missing here. Um, and then perhaps, you know, uh, erase back the things that I, I, you know, don't want included. Um, okay, so it's still, you know, it's, it, it's odd how it, you know, the kind of mistakes that it makes. Uh, and I can certainly erase her out of this. Let's see if it's let me, it should let me. Yeah. So I can just kind of erase around that. Oops. Didn't want to erase his sleeve. I, I can see that this is, it's working reasonably well, even in uh, when it has multiple subjects to consider. Okay. So let's, let's move on. Okay. Now here's one. Now, truth be told, I probably wouldn't go to all the effort to mask this subject out. Um, I would probably look for something, some simpler uh, approach to, to kind of emphasizing the subject. But let's just assume that I wanted to uh, isolate the subject so I could maybe fade, the, you know, desaturate the background a little bit, make this pop some more. I don't know. Is it, there's, there's a reason why one might want to select that. This is an extremely difficult, a lot of detail in this. Let's see what, what Photoshop does here. So we're going to select the subject. And I mean, it's it's hard to know, you know, surprisingly how well Photoshop is isolating the, the thing of interest in this picture. Um, I'm pretty sure that the the programmers at Photoshop have never seen a cranberry thrasher. Um, so it's not like they're identifying this as an actual thing. It's it's somehow able to isolate it again there's a lot of work that needs to be done I have to come in here and clean up a lot of things 
uh, in the mask, but uh, pretty impressive that I actually found that and determined that it was the subject. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so I want to see if Photoshop can decide that the subject is actually the trains and not this this guy. I want to see if it's really prioritizing humans at all. So let's let's do that. Let's hit the select mask, select the subject, um, and again, not bad. You know, it's not perfect. It needs to be fixed up. But we, we can add back the rest of the train there. Uh, this time it, it ignored the person, so it's clearly not prioritizing people. It's somehow determining what the subject is maybe by, you know, a, a, how big it is or really hard to say, but this is starting to be pretty impressive that it actually found that. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's find something. All right, here's, here's something where I definitely could use some help because this would be just nuts to try and mask this out um, and that's it's black and white so it's maybe a bit of a challenge for Photoshop let's see if it can mask the tree against the sky so let's go click on select mask select subject and Photoshop is thinking and well it's clearly having trouble with this particular subject um, maybe it just cannot determine what the subject is so let's let's try something. I'm going to crop it. I'll crop out the rocks in the foreground and see if we can get a little closer to the tree. And uh, OK, let's try it again. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Select a mask, select subject. OK, well, you know, this is perhaps not going to save me any time if I really wanted to mask this. This is a really tough one. I, you know, but it's at least it identified the subject, um, and I'm not sure you know I could actually, you know, maybe we could get a yeah. It's going to be this is one of those things. It's just going to be really difficult to mask anyway. So okay, we give it a fail there, but uh, still. You know, this is uh, not not really too bad. Um, all right, now here's an interesting one. Okay, what's the subject, right? I mean, I I would want to isolate the uh, the farmer and his 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 bull. He's offering rides here. Um, so let's try that. Select a mass. Select subject. And let's see if it can really isolate the bull from the background. Not bad. Not not bad at all. I put a little extra, left this thing in here, but you know that would be easy to remove. Um, really, not too bad at all. I mean, it's not. It's clearly not a, an issue of isolating contrast to find the subject. It's actually identifying things here. So this is pretty impressive. All right, well, let's let's keep going. It's got a color. I know there's got to be something in here that just. <laughs> Okay, so here, all right, let's see what it does with this, because what is the subject here? Let's let's find out. So we hit select the mask, select the subject. What does Photoshop think the subject is? Okay, well, it, it thinks the plant on the left is the subject. I was kind of hoping it would select both plants. Um, and, you know, obviously this is going to take some work to, to fix up. But frankly, I didn't really expect Photoshop to figure out what to do here. Um, so, uh, and still, you know, we could go in and just use the quick select tool and, you know, um, build up a selection pretty easily. It, it still takes some work, more work than, you know, I was hoping for. But still, this is pretty, pretty impressive. So, um so to review, how well does it work? Well, surprisingly well, even fairly complex subjects get selected and masked at least to a modest starting level. When does it fail? Well, actually not when you th think it might. Uh, clearly machine learning does not yet select subjects the same way a human does. But if there's a clear subject at all, Photoshop AI usually manages to select it. 
Problems mostly occur where it doesn't select all of the subject. Does it really save any time? Well, yes, at the very least, it's worth trying out in just about every situation where you want to select a subject, and it gets you a good start in the majority of situations. And finally, is it the Holy Grail? Well, perhaps not just yet, but definitely makes a Bengali Clipping Path employee more profitable. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Photoshop Rant. You might be interested in more detailed information on my website, and you might consider following me on YouTube and Twitter to find out about my various classes and workshops. Be sure and like the video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You might consider following me on Instagram, and I have two books in print, available on Amazon in Kindle as well as paper versions, Master in Exposure in the Zone System for Digital Photographers, and my bestseller, Skin, the Complete Guide to Digitally Lighting, Photographing, and Retouching Faces and Bodies. If you're looking for more in-depth Photoshop tutorials, I have a number of video courses available from my online school under the Education menu at veras.com. And my latest Photoshop course is Complete Hair Masking, where I go into great detail on various old and new school techniques for creating great hair edge composites, including how to illustrate hair wisps using special brushes and stock photos of wigs, which I provide for download in the course. Thank you for watching. Post your questions and suggestions for topics to explore under the video, and I'll see you in the next Photoshop rant.